And we welcome you back to On the Beach and Isaac here hosting again this week. And this week we are featuring sleep as the topic on our On the Beach segment. I have with me Dr. John C. Boswell from the Golden Triangle Sleep Clinic Baptist Medical Group. Dr. Boswell, we sure appreciate you uh, spending some time with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Sure thing. And we are going to, again, talk about sleep. You are what is known as a sleep specialist. And that is, it's an actual field of, of medicine that yeah. you just told me that, <laughs> again, right. you're an internal medicine physician, but really focusing on sleep patterns. That, that's right. So I, I, I did additional training uh, in the specialty of, of sleep medicine, um, which is, is really about the, the treatment and evaluation of people that, that have medical sleep disorders, um, like sleep apnea, um, uh, restless legs, insomnia, uh, movement disorders, um, that, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. And so as the sleep specialist, what would you say is the most common type of um, disorder or illness that you uh, see and are able to treat or manage? Right. Um, as a specialist, we, we see mostly obstructive sleep apnea as, as far as the number of patients that we see. Obstructive sleep apnea is really very common. Uh, we think that there's 25 to 30 million adults um, in the United States with obstructive sleep apnea, Okay. with only about 5 million of those being diagnosed. Okay. Um, so really very common, 24% uh, of adult males, 9 to 10% uh, of adult females. Um, and we, uh, we're, we're the specialty that ends up uh, treating most of those folks. Okay, so when you say obstructive sleep apnea, what yeah. exactly is that? How can one recognize the symptoms, something like that? Yeah, uh, obstructive sleep apnea is um, the repeated closure uh, of the airway either partially or completely uh, during sleep. Okay. Um, as far as symptoms associated with that, uh, many people will have loud snoring, uh, daytime sleepiness, uh, fragmented, non-restorative sleep, um, extended brain fog, uh, you know, uh, difficulty in, in concentrating, um, and, and surprisingly, even insomnia uh, can be a, uh, a, a symptom of obstructive sleep apnea. So if you say partial to fully closure of the airway, that sounds dangerous, right? So that means that we could, ain't breathing. Right. <laughs> that yeah. could mean something that would require, I would assume, immediate attention if it persists, right? Right, so uh, as far as the, uh, uh, the downsides, the why are we worried about this kind sure. of thing, um, definitely there's night to night symptoms like we talked about. Um, our, our big concern also though is the, is the long term problems. Uh, there is some significant health issues associated with untreated obstructive sleep apnea, including a, an increase in mortality. Okay. Um, as far as, as how we go about uh, uh, treating that, um, the, the traditional method is, is with positive airway pressure, the CPAP or BiPAP, but these days we have a, a lot of other methods uh, that we can bring to bear as well. All right, and quickly I want you to touch on insomnia. A lot of people uh, probably know think they know more about that one. Uh, describe a little right. bit about insomnia. Sure, sure. And insomnia is actually probably the most common sleep disorder uh, among the general population. Uh, it's estimated as much as 50% of people will have trouble with it at some point or another. Um, but as, as defined, it, it is the perception uh, of, of either trouble with, uh, with sleep initiation or, or, or sleep maintenance, or, or that the sleep is, is just not as restorative as we want it to be. Um, as far as the treatment of that, we, we've discovered in recent years that people respond better to a psychological and behavioral based uh, treatment approach rather than relying on medications. If you have any uh, additional questions or if you'd like some additional information, you can find it there at the uh, website or number listed on your screen. We'll be right back.